y'all this big base bag just arrived on my doorstep and i was like i did not order a base bag and then i opened it up and i was like kosas okay look at this ah! i'm so excited i think i talked about this like once maybe but i was telling you guys how i was going to mexico and it's with kosas I'm so excited. It's Kosas's first brand trip and I'm so honored to like be invited to go. First they gave us little goodie bags with a bunch of Kosas essentials. My favorite spray. These are all like travel size items so it's perfect. Shut up. <gasps> this is so cute. This is my favorite sunscreen ever and who knew it came in a little mini travel size. Is this even real? <gasps> It's a mini lip balm, and then we have um, their mini plump and juice lip balm. And then this is the last thing in there. Next in this amazing bag, we have a silk neck pillow. I travel so much, but I've never like brought myself to buy a neck pillow. I don't know why, but I'm really excited to use this. Okay, looks like we have a sweatsuit. This is the hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <gasps> it's so oversized. I love anything like oversized and the sleeve says Kosas on the side. Really cute. And then this is the matching um, sweatpants. Okay, next we have this and I actually have no idea what it is. So let's open it together. What is this? Interesting. Hold on. Okay, I'm a little confused because I have no idea what these are. And they're like magnetic, I think. Yes, magnetic. And it says body. Oh! These are like little travel size things, so you literally put your moisturizer in here so it's travel safe, which is so cool. Oh my gosh, there's even some for like pills, shampoo, conditioner, cleanser, body wash, and they all stick together. That is really cool. Okay, now we have three of these supplements from this brand. I don't want to say it wrong, but this one is for sleep, so looks like this cute i'll be so honest i sleep so well i get knocked out within like the second i shut my eyes so i'm gonna give that to my sister and then this one's for like bloating and then this one's for calming so nice and of course the amazing black base bag which i'm so excited to use thank you so much coasters i am so excited to hang out with you guys next week bye guys Guys, Sage just launched their new concealer. It's called their Slip Tint Concealer, and you guys already know, I love their Slip Tint. It's like the perfect skin tint ever. I'm gonna mix in a bit of Glowy Super Gel just to give me a bit of shine. I'm just skin prepping, so I have like a nice base before I apply the concealer. This has become my everyday go-to concealer. It is medium coverage, so perfect for everyday wear. I use shade number five, and I put this on all the areas that I want some brightening. And then I use shade number 7, which is a bit darker to cover up some spots on my skin. This concealer lasts through the whole entire day, and it does not crease at all. And it's also so blendable. This is one side with it completely blended. So stunning. Like, my favorite thing about this concealer is that my skin still looks like skin after this, so I don't end up looking so cakey. Okay, now I'm going to set it with a bit of Sae's Loose Setting Powder, just to lock it all in. This is so stunning. And of course, no look is finished without Say's Glossy Bounce. This one's in the shade Bounce. Bye, guys! Hey, guys, get ready with me to go get my nails done. Okay, kind of sad because I love these nails that I have on right now. This is probably one of my favorite sets, even though it's literally just plain navy blue. But I'm going to Mexico in a few days, and we can't have, like colored nails on so that's why i'm getting them redone okay i don't know if i can say why but we just can't have colored nails so i'm just gonna get them redone with like neutral colors i'm gonna do like Hailey bieber nails because i feel like you just can't go wrong i really want to get like a con color analysis done because i don't know i just want to know what my color is i personally think that blue is one of my colors because every time i wear some sort of blue my whole face is just like brightened up Okay, I don't want to do too much makeup because we're going for dinner later and I'm most definitely going to be redoing my whole entire makeup, so I'm just going to do a little bit. Also guys, finished my accounting midterm today. It was literally so terrifying. I finished with like 5 minutes remaining. We had like an hour and 10 minutes to do it and when there was literally 10 minutes left on the timer, I kept getting a negative number. It reminds me when I did physics in grade 11. Holy shit, that was traumatic. Literally every test I do, 
there would be questions that'd be like, how fast is this object moving? And I'd literally get negative answers. Anyways, I ended up figuring it out and I think, well, hopefully, if I got all my calculations correct, then I know for a fact I got 100, but that's if I got like all my numbers right. You don't have to write anything, so like as long as you get your calculations right, then you get 100%. So fingers crossed. Oh my god, I think my cousin's here. I haven't seen her in like ages. Fun fact, my cousin and I were neighbors. Okay guys, my cousin just came back from Toronto and she went to this jewelry store. Okay, let's unbox it together. <gasps> oh my gosh it's so pretty this is like the smiley face bracelet this is the brand it's from and this is so cute i love it adding it to my very long stack oh that's really cute love how i said i wasn't gonna do that much makeup yet i still ended up doing a full face i went to bed with mascara on last night which is something i've never done and it was the most disgusting thing ever Okay, this is all I'm going to do for makeup because I don't want to do too much. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Get ready with me. Okay, we leave for Mexico tomorrow, and I don't think you guys understand how excited I am. I've never been to Mexico before, so I'm, like, so excited. A bunch of you guys were telling me not to drink their tap water, so I'll definitely be sure to not do that. <laughs> I'm gonna start packing right after I film this video, so let me know if you guys want me to do a pack with me. My room is actually such an incredible mess right now, so I have to clean it ASAP. I'm gonna do a full body shower today, and I have to shave every inch of my body because I'm gonna be on the beach every single day. I am just so excited, y'all. I can't wait for you guys to see what Kosas has planned for us for this week. Also, thanks to you guys who told me that this is not a foundation because I was like, this is an extremely light foundation. It's basically more of a glowy base type of thing that you use under your makeup for like a nice smooth base. OMG, I look orange. Um, let me fix it up with concealer. This is my trick though. You're supposed to make yourself look as orange as possible and then you put... Wait, it's not my shade. Okay, I keep forgetting I'm not as tan as I was last summer. Hopefully by next week though. I'm using this lighter concealer to brighten everything up anyways you guys i'm so excited to like meet everyone i don't know exactly like who's going so i'm like really nervous i always get so nervous like meeting people in this industry i don't know i just get like anxiety but i'm just like really happy to be there also i've been so obsessed with the forever glow like dior highlighter things they are so stunning i mix these two shades together and it gives me like the more most <laughs> beautiful glow Okay, I'm just setting my face. Also, I found out recently that apparently you're not supposed to shower with your contacts in. Apparently, it's like super bad for you to shower with them on and I've been doing it basically my whole entire life. Honestly, it's probably why my eyesight just keeps getting worse and worse every year. Also, apparently you're not supposed to shower with a full face of makeup on. I've also been doing that basically ever since I started wearing makeup. My logic is that if you shower with your makeup on, a lot of it comes off in the shower. So then when you wash your face after, you don't have to remove that much makeup. I don't know, does that make sense? But apparently it's like super bad for you. So gotta stop doing that. I haven't worn mascara in like two-ish days because my eyes have just been really irritated and I want like healthy lashes for Mexico. So I'm not gonna do that much mascara. Guys, I'm just so excited. Okay, I'm doing some of this lip balm from ooh, Dior. Okay, it's like a really pretty natural pink hue. Bye! This is so stupid, but I want to delete Snapchat so bad, but the only thing holding me back is my memories. I just don't see the point on having it when I don't snap anyone. I snap like two people a day. I don't have streaks with anyone at all. And the only reason why I still have it is because of my memories. I have had Snapchat since I was in the seventh grade. So it's definitely been a long time, which means I have tons of memories on there. Hate to say it, but my whole entire life is basically documented on that one singular app. And also two of my best friends are literally the biggest Snapchat people that I know. 
but it doesn't really matter because we have each other on text so we can text and facetime all the time i don't know i just feel stupid having snapchat and i also feel like life would just be so much better without it also i can't just save everything from my memories to my camera roll because I do not have the storage for that. Also, I feel like the only other reason why I would keep Snapchat is if I made my account public. And that's also something I wanted to ask you guys is if you guys would be interested in a public Snapchat account. Because I feel like that'd be really fun to show you guys kind of the behind the scenes of my life and what I do every day. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about this okay i took off the beautiful tour so you guys can see but my eyes are getting like irritated again like they're getting red every night at exactly like 9 p.m it's like clockwork my eyeball gets so itchy and like not my eyelids i'm talking about like the inside of my eyeball like i want to scratch it so bad but i can't reach it also i saw a tiktok that apparently tiktok is taking the beauty filter away like the smooth filter this is with and this is without okay my skin like looks the same but something about it just makes me feel better like it just makes you look so like smooth and airbrushed but also i don't have the automatic update on so if it is true i'm just never gonna update my app ever again someone asked me the other day and was like how are your fingers so long play the piano for 10 years and you'll see your fingers transform <laughs> like i'm not even kidding every single person i know that has played the piano for at least five years their hands are like elongated sat in my face okay i just did my brows with the anastasia brow freeze which is really good by the way because that's like the one that doesn't come in the potted version so it's like easier to use also this powder blush is so insanely good i understand the hype around it now because i didn't get it at first but like honestly i feel like anything hourglass is like so good also my entire for you page right now is people on semester at sea and it's making me want to go so bad but also i feel like it's kind of scary like being on a cruise ship with like a bunch of teenagers for four months okay i just did my lashes really shittily is that even a word anyways i'm doing some highlighter and then i'm putting on some of this lip oil from summer fridays okay bye hey guys travel with me to mexico okay excuse the literal fact that i look like a grandma i'm about to take out my heatless curls okay y'all it's 6 30 right now and we have to leave at 7 also okay this didn't turn out as well as the last time because i feel like i didn't leave them in for long enough because i did this at 1 a.m last night so i really only slept in them for like four hours okay great my hair is also not parted down the middle oh, properly and it's kind of bothering me but i'll fix it later okay i feel like it'd be kind of fun to do a get ready with me slash vlog in one so right after we get ready we're gonna travel together to mexico and i think it'll be really fun also i'm not gonna do any makeup as usual because i'm gonna be on the plane but i will do mascara i think i always use peach and lily when i do no makeup because it gives me glass skin these two together just make my skin look insane just remembered i already packed up my lash curler and mascara so i'll just do it on the plane Okay, this is the bag I decided to bring. It's my long champ one. My other ones are just too heavy and they hurt my shoulders. So, okay, I'm just spraying my perfume. Thank you, bye. Okay, now I'm gonna do an assignment because I have something due tonight and I haven't started it. So, hey. Oh my gosh guys we just got to the hotel and look at how insane this is this is the bathroom stocked up with the most amazing stuff little robe with a little coasters thing and there's a bathroom right here the shower is over here the bed and it's stocked up with so many like <laughs> that's me this is actually so insane like even gave me a pandora bracelet with my little k initial on it this is the best part there's a little patio that you can go out to 
and look at how pretty it is. And there's a little swingy bed thing. Ah! I could stay here all day. Hey guys, get ready me for dinner with Kosas. Okay, so we just arrived in Mexico and I have all my like stuff here, so let's get ready. There's literally someone getting married on my left right now. This is the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, guys, they're playing Taylor Swift. I don't know if you guys can hear it because it's kind of loud, but this is the best thing ever. The vibes are so good. I cannot believe I'm witnessing a wedding right beside me. This is so cute. Okay, sorry if you guys can't hear me because it's a little loud. Um, so tonight's dress code is pink, orange, or bronze, so I'm wearing pink. Okay, I really hope I'm not like underdressed because this dress is short and I heard that a lot of the girls are wearing like long dresses. Guys, this view is actually insane right now. Like, look at how beautiful it is. Okay, my makeup has to look like really good tonight because there's a bunch of really good professional like makeup artists that are going. Like people that are just really good at makeup in general, so I don't want to look silly. I'm also doing my makeup without a mirror. Like, my phone camera is my mirror tonight. So, hopefully this doesn't turn out scary looking. There are so many people just like on the beach and like taking photos. It is the cutest thing ever. I love people watching. There's some people that are like surfing right now and it's making me want to learn how to surf so bad. Also, my heatless curls completely came out. It did not stay whatsoever, so I just quickly recurled them just now with Christie's hair curler. Because I forgot to bring my hair curler as usual, but I used Christie's dry bar and my hair has never looked better curled. Also, I'm growing my hair out for summer. I was thinking of cutting it again because I honestly really liked it short. But I feel like for summer, it's like better long. I don't know. Can you guys hear me, by the way? Is it like too loud because the ocean? Okay, 5.37 right now. I have to be downstairs by 5.45. Never mind, just got a text from my team literally five seconds ago. And now we don't have to be downstairs until 5.55, so I have some time. Okay, um, my lashes are done. I need to put in my gold hoops, so... Okay, I just put in my hoops, and I'm gonna do just these rings, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna do some my closest lip oil. And I'm done. Bye guys! Get ready me for a boat day in Mexico! Okay, it's 7 a.m. right now. I woke up two hours before my alarm, but I'm awake and I'm energetic, so. Last night we had dinner at the most gorgeous restaurant ever. It felt like we were at Greece. This was us walking down. This was dinner. It was the best thing ever, amazing food, amazing view, like everything about it was just perfect. Today we're doing a boat day and I couldn't be more excited. I don't think I've ever been on like an actual like boat boat. I've been on like cruise ships and ferries but never an actual like boat boat. Also Kosas' new dream beam is the best. Also all the girls on this trip are so stunning. Everyone pulled up to dinner with such a flawless face of makeup. Like, I called it in my Get Ready Me last night. Okay, I want my makeup to turn out really cute today because I want to do photos on the boat. We got some really, really cute photos last night. I posted some on my Instagram if you guys want to see. But I love getting good pics on vacation. It's like the best feeling ever. Also, I literally cannot express how amazing and perfect the weather is right now in Mexico. Like, it's just perfect. I'm literally only doing my makeup just because I want to do photos and then right after I get one good photo, I'm jumping straight into the ocean. If I'm near water and if the weather's nice and if I have a bathing suit on, I will not not jump in. I feel like it's also the fact that the water is just too cold to swim at at home, so every time I get the chance to swim in nice water, I will swim. Okay, I'm using like my pinky makeup by Mario blush today because I feel like it fits the vibes. <laughs> I just realized the one thing I did forget to bring on this trip was highlighter. I'm like sitting here looking at the view and I'm like, wow, like is this even real life? Like it's just so insanely crazy. I don't know. Okay, I'm adding a bit more bronzer because I feel like you can never be too bronze on vacation. More blush, always. I don't even know if I should even bother putting mascara on. I'm gonna anyways, I know it's gonna bleed, but I'll bring makeup wipes. 
both the mascaras I'm using is waterproof, but like, I feel like they always still end up bleeding no matter what. So like, is it a scam? Okay, I'm definitely going to be bringing my makeup wipes because I don't want to be looking like a zombie. But, bye guys! Hey guys, get ready with me for dinner in Mexico. Something very devastating and tragic happened today while we were on the boat. Me and two other girls decided to go in the water because it was so clear and so welcoming. We jumped off the second level and my ring fell off. It's the ring that I usually wear on this finger and it's a really nice ring that I just bought myself like a month ago. Um, so yeah, there was really nothing I could do about it. It was really sad because um, I could literally feel it slipping away because the water pressure was just so strong because we jumped from really high up and I felt it like slip off but there was literally no one to blame but myself so it's my fault but I still had so much fun though like literally no regrets and I always say this I feel like so much worse could have happened we could have gotten eaten by sharks instead but we didn't so you know Anyways, after the boat, we went and had lunch, and it was the most insane thing ever. People, like, they were throwing shots in people's mouths. They were, like, blowing whistles, and they were like, shaking people's heads right after the shot. And I was like, what is going on? It was hilarious, though. 10 out of 10 entertainment. Anyways, we came back from lunch, and we had a bit of, like, free time, so I went down to the amazing beach that's, like, right here, and I called my best friends and, like, kind of, like, catched them up on everything. And I like tanned a little, hence my red ass nose. I covered it up with concealer, but it was like bright red. I got a bit of a tan underneath, but I don't want to show you guys because I'm not wearing anything. I'm like naked, so. But hopefully I can get a better tan tomorrow. Tomorrow we have like a full day planned and I'm really excited. We're doing a full day of shooting and I'm really excited for you guys to see what it's for. Literally so crazy, so fun, and so, why can I never, okay so exciting i was literally like laying on the beach just now and i was like is this like real life like is this really happening right now my life just one year ago was so different it's insane how much can change in just one year like it's just crazy okay i really wanted to do like a natural look today but i always go overboard as soon as i start putting shit on my face i'm gonna go really light on my lashes today because i need them to be nice and long tomorrow also this robe is like the softest thing i've ever felt on my body it's incredible bye guys